Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of SRMJ Triple E Search, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of physics, which we can use to prepare for the SRMJ Triple E exam. Now, let's look at some questions and find out their optimal solutions. Here is one of the questions. The equivalent capacitance between the points A and B in lowercase for the combination of capacitors shown in the figure where all, all capacitances are in microfarad is 6 microfarad, 4 microfarad, 2 microfarad, 3 microfarad. So how do we solve this question? Well, we have the given figure. Now let's um, mark each of their coordinates. So let's take the four corners as uppercase A, uppercase B, uppercase C, and uppercase D. Let's take this point as uppercase E, and this one as uppercase F. Let's take this one as uppercase G, and this one as uppercase H. Now, the reason why we're doing that is so that we can find out the equivalent resistances for some of the connections given. And for that, we need to find out the two common points. So, how do we solve this question? Well, for that, we need to find out how the combination of capacitors are calculated to find their equivalent capacitance. Now, for the parallel, connection, it is pretty straightforward. The C equivalent will be equal to C1 plus C2 plus etc. So C equivalent will be the addition of all the capacitances in a parallel connection. And for the series connection, 1 over C equivalent will be equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus etc. So the reciprocal of C equivalent will be the sum of the reciprocals of each of the given capacitances. So in a way this is kind of uh, the opposite for resistance. If you've studied resistance in I don't know grade 10 you would know that for parallel it will be the reciprocal while for a series it will be the total sum. But for capacitance, it's the exact opposite. In a parallel connection, capacitance will be the sum, while in a series connection, uh, the reciprocal of capacitance will be the reciprocal of the sum of the given capacitors. So, how do we solve this question? Well, remember we have parallel connections across EF and GH. So let's find out their equivalents. Now the capacitance across EF will be equal to 1 microfarad plus 3 microfarad. And that will give you a total of 4 microfarad. Let's just, you know, put it as C1. Let's let let's uh, you know represent it as C1 for this scenario. Now if we look at GH, the capacitors across GH are connected in parallel as well. So therefore you get 6 microfarad plus 2 microfarad giving you 8 microfarad and then you can use it as C2. So now we found out the equivalent here is 4 microfarad. Sorry that symbol was incorrect and the 1 over GH as 8 microfarad. Now we need to find out the equivalent capacitance across AB and CD. Now both of these are now uh, considered as series connections. So now we'll use the series connection formula. So 1 across CAB will be 1 across 4 because the capacitor there is 4 plus 1 across and then we'll use the equivalent for EF 
which is 4. So therefore, it'll be 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4. That will give you 2 upon 4 as the reciprocal of CAB, which means that CAB itself will be 4 upon 2, which is 2 microfarad. Similarly, if you take 1 upon the capac equivalent capacitance across CD, that will be equal to 1 upon 8 plus, if you look at the equivalent here, it'll be 6 plus 2, that's 8. So we'll use the equivalent that, that we used for, that was, give, that was found out for GH. So therefore, the sum here would be 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 8, which gives you 2 upon 8. So if you take its reciprocal, the equivalent capacitance across CD will be 8 upon 2, which is 4 microfarad. So right now, between the points lowercase a and lowercase b, we have two resistances in parallel, I mean two capacitances in parallel. One of them measures 2 microfarad and the other measures 4 microfarad. So this is the, our equivalent scenario right now. So if you need to find out the capacitance across lowercase a and b, you just need to add the two together. So 2 microfarad plus 4 microfarad, that gives you a total of 6 microfarad. So the C equivalent across lowercase a and lowercase b for this question is option A, 6 microfarad. If you look at the four options, it's clear that options, option A, 6 is the correct answer. Options B and C are incorrect because they do represent equivalent uh, numbers for other connections, but not the entire connection. And 3 does not exist, whether as an equivalent or as a capacitor by itself. So therefore, option A is the correct option. Now, let's look at another question. Two coils have a mutual inductance of 0 0.05 Henry. Now, mutual inductance is represented by uppercase M. The current changes in the first coil according to the equation I equals I naught sine omega T, where I naught is 10 amperes and omega is 100 pi radians per second. The maximum value of EMF, electromotive fo force, in the second coil is. So if we look at the question, we have two coils. The M here is 0 0.005 Henry for the first one. I mean, and then the current that's flowing is I naught sine omega T, where I naught is 10 amperes and omega is 100 pi. We need to find out the maximum value of EMF. Now, EMF uh, basically means the current passing through the second coil. So the, the, it, it basically means the voltage passing through the second coil. So therefore, the EMF E can be represented as m times the derivative of the current. So mutual inductance times the derivative of the current passing through the first coil would give us the e maximum EMF of the second coil. So therefore, E max will now be equal to the value of m is 0 0.005 Henry. Now, if we take the deriv derivative of the current, it'll be d by dt times i naught sine omega t. Now, i naught is a constant because its value is always 10 amperes according to the question. And omega is also a constant because its value is already given, 100 pi. So basically, the constant I naught will not be de, de, would not be acted upon by this operator. However, sine omega t will be op, will be derived will be operated by the derivative, which is d by dt. So therefore, d by dt of sine omega t is omega times cos omega t. So therefore, what we get is I naught times omega times 
cos omega t. Now, omega here is 100 pi. So, therefore, cos of pi is calculated as 1. So, therefore, the value of cos omega t would be nearly 1. So, we can discard that. What we have is 0 0.05 times i naught times omega. So, if we write it down here, what we're getting is E max equals 0 0.005 Henry times the I naught, which is 10 amperes, times omega, which is 100 pi. So, 10 times 100 gives you 1,000. 0 0.005 is the same thing as 5 over 1,000. So, therefore, we can cancel out the thousands. So, E max is equal to 5 times pi. So, E max equals 5 pi is the correct answer for this question. If you look at the following options, it's clear that option B is the correct option. So, what we did was we had to use the formula maximum EMF equals mutual inductance times the derivative of current with respect to time and then we had to do the deriva derivation and then uh, we had to equate cos omega t as 1 because be because we know omega has the value of pi so cos of n times pi gives you 1 so therefore from there all you had to do was multiply the inductance times i naught times omega and then we got the value of 5 pi which is equal to option B. Now that concludes this episode of SRMJ Triple E Search. We hope you found this episode informative and interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate. Now, if you did like the video, you can press the like button or share it with others. And if you want to get the latest updates about uh, our channel then don't forget to hit the notifications icon present below the video so until the next episode take care stay alert bye bye for now